Hello everyone, welcome to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. So it has finally happened. She has been revealed. During this week's Netflix Geeked event, the live action show has given us our first reveal for who is going to be playing the character of Toph Beifong. We also got a small teaser video as well, which was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one too. Avatar fans have been waiting for this moment for a while now, and so today we are going to break it down in this video. I apologize for this video being as late as it is. I was in Toronto seeing the legend Hans Zimmer himself live in concert while this news dropped, but I am here now to cover it. As I say every time, sit back, relax, and enjoy some jasmine tea as we run through this video. So let's save the best for last and actually talk about the teaser first. So it starts off with a shot of the ground, and as it pans up, we start to hear the classic and iconic Avatar drum beat start playing, only for us to then see some of the most popular feet in all of entertainment history. That's right, those are the feet of our girl Toph Beifong, as she does one of her classic moves, where as she is ready to earthbend, she takes her foot and brings it in motion, and then bang, she pounces down, creating a ripple in the ground. This then cuts to the cool CGI animated shots of the four elements in their glory, and then the title sequence appears with the added season two part, followed by another title card saying, now in production. That is all we got from the teaser, and I have to say, I know some will have wanted more to see, but if you think about it, this is really all we did need to get for now. They haven't started shooting yet, so we weren't going to get anything other than this. Marketing-wise, this is a genius idea because it hones in on one of the greatest aspects of the original book, too, that everyone has been waiting for, which is to see the character of Toph. At the same time, knowing how this show handles bending, and in particular earthbending, everyone knows that Toph brings some of the best moves out of any character, and so I am glad we are going to see her in action and not looking like another adaptation that got it all wrong that we do not name. Holy God, what are you showing me? His head? Come on! Speaking of Toph, let's now get into the actual cast announcement because I know you all have been waiting for this. So along with that teaser, of course, has been said already, the girl who will be playing her was announced along with it, and her name is Maya Check. Now, I don't know how you all feel about the idea of the kind of actor that you want playing a character, whether it's someone who is an unknown or someone who you are very familiar with. In this case, for me personally, Maya is somebody who I have not seen in anything before, so this will be something new for me like it was with our other actors who played Katara, Aang, Zuko, and Sokka. Maya has been in stuff like Hawaii Five-0, which I hear is a very popular cable television show. She was in American Horror Story for a little bit, a movie called The Darkest Minds, which I remember seeing a trailer for, The Arrow Show for the CW DC Universe, and then recently, a very popular Netflix show called Beef. She's also been in a few other Netflix and Nickelodeon productions, so she's got some experience on her resume and has that connection with Netflix themselves. Now, that's not where the cool stuff ends on this news, as we head over to my trusted friend Caleb Williams at Night Edge Media, who reports on all things Avatar. In his new article, he includes this point. We at Night Edge Media had mentioned her for several years as a fan cast as she beat out fellow fan casting favorite Diana Soy, who got pretty deep into the audition process herself before losing out on the role. Diana Soy was a big favorite from people to play Toph, as Diana already played her for a fan film. So as Caleb said, Maya did beat her out, and along with this notion of her also being a fan cast, several months ago, Maya herself tweeted about this on her Twitter profile, saying, Oh my god, how sweet are you for thinking of me literally my dream role since I started acting, as she includes in the end of that statement with a fingers crossed emoji. The main Netflix avatar account also posted a video with the same message from her as she reacts to the announcement of her playing the character along with some of the other cast. Seeing stuff like this is really cool, and so I am ready to hopefully see her kill it in this role. One last thing we have to discuss is a topic that was mentioned in an article from Netflix themselves about season two. The article details the news of this event, but within it is also a quote from the showrunners themselves about something interesting that we have to discuss. It goes like this, we are looking forward to working with all our actors again and digging into the deeper, more complicated relationships that develop as their journey continues in Season 2, executive producers Kristen Bolin and Jabari Riasani tell Tadum. We are going to show the real-world versions of iconic scenes from the original and explore some of the stories that the animation didn't. Mainly, we are looking forward to seeing our gang all together again. So you'll have noticed that they said that they'll explore some of the stories the animation didn't, and this is something that Season 1 did a little bit too. 
I'm curious to know how this is going to play out. Could we see someone like Toph, for example, have more of her young life explored than what we didn't see in the cartoon? Could we see the early stages of her training to bend, or the first time she participated in the Earth Rumble tournament? After all, when we first meet her, she is already holding that belt, so that could be interesting to see. I'm just using that as an example to show the kinds of new scenes that we could see. Obviously, there is a potential possibility that we could see a lot of other new stuff with other characters. Unfortunately, one thing that will conflict with that, as we know, which is the idea of how long the season will be. Everyone here who watched my reviews of season one knows I wasn't a fan of the whole eight episode idea. I do think an extended 10 episode or 12 episode season, for example, will be much better. But given the day and age we are living in with streaming television, I wonder if that will even change. I've grown tired of eight episode or six episode seasons, and so I just hope that we can get more this time around. Other than that, there's not much else. That is the news that we got from the Netflix Geeked event this week for the Netflix adaptation. What do you all think about this news and the casting of Toph Beifong? Let me know down below in the comments. If you did enjoy the video and you want to see more, be sure to drop it a like, and if you are new here to this channel, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. My fellow benders of all four nations, thank you all for stopping by Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. On your way out, be sure to let him know how much you appreciated his jasmine tea and his words of wisdom that come with it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all soon for more Avatar.